Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's actually afternoon. If you missed yesterday's video, I dropped the camera, broke it, Sam got ordered another one, not from Amazon, and it already came. It is a mini miracle. I'm so excited. Hated videoing on my cam on my phone because it didn't have wasn't the same quality, but anyways, another mini miracle. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest? Did you guys see her? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a girl. She had her head on another egg sleeping on it. Isn't it so cute? She's so little. That's not the only miracle. You guys, we had three miracles in one day. The camera came early and two baby chicks. This, they're both fresh, brand new from today. Really cute. It's like um, a black and it's got a white bottom. I'm wondering if it is from the barred rock. I'm wondering if it's from the barred rock rooster. It's not. It's not? Look at the feet. Yeah, they have five toes, but we don't have a, a silky cross rooster. We do. The little boy that chases us. Oh, we do have a little. Oh, man. I don't want to raise chicks from him. Anyway, two mini miracles. This other one's waiting to come into this little thing until it gets a little bit more dry. So uh, that was exciting. Every year I say I'm not gonna raise any more chicks or I'm not gonna hatch any more chicks, especially in winter time. And now it's fall and I'm prepared to hatch all the baby chicks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I love hatching them in the fall. Everybody else hatches them in the spring. I love hatching them in the fall because then they're ready to lay in the spring. Speaking of ready to lay, these are all the eggs that we got today. That's a lot of eggs. There was 24, but we broke one. The new camera came with another lens cap. I lost the last one. Yeah, and I already lost it once. I am officially done with Sophie's back to school curriculum. I have everything printed, everything planned. I literally spent most of the day figuring out like all the last of her stuff actually. I have like some elective course stuff to fix. I can't believe to figure out. Anyway, it's gorgeous out here. It's like almost cold and Sam and I decided I literally just need to get out and go for a walk. Like I just need to go someplace and be busy and burn off some energy. If you attack my dog, she's not gonna come out here for a while. All the chickens are out. Oh, I don't know how it happened. Look at the van. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> you can't go with us. It's like African Lion Safari. If you guys don't know what African Lion Safari is, it's the place, it's this place in Ontario where you go and you drive through and like all the animals climb on top of your car, especially like the monkeys. <laughs> oh my God. She used to <laughs> <the> slide. <laughs> Ellie, no. Ellie, I decided let's just go someplace and do something. Like I need to get out, but we can't go anywhere until we get the chickens to stay. Go, make a run for it, quick! <laughs> come on, Kirby, come on. You're coming, come on, Ellie. Ellie, come. I'm just gonna slowly... Ellie! <laughs> Ellie, let's go. <laughs> slowly gonna back away. Come on, come on, Ellie! Come on, Kirby, come on, run! Come on! Oh, shoot. Uh. All right, run for it. Run! Oh my gosh. Let's hope that they don't come. I'm afraid to turn around. Okay. Oh, we did it. Anyway, I just like, sitting down, doing all that stuff today, trying to finish up because we only have just a few more days before school starts. Starts next week on Wednesday. I just felt like I needed to go for a walk and we're so lucky that we have all this beautiful land to walk on. And we decided to take every dog. Come on, old girl, you can do it. <laughs> she still runs like a puppy. I found all the grapevines. You found, not I found. Ooh, they're tiny though. Eat it. They're not grapes. Didn't think so. Sam, you lied to me. Those are not grapes. They have pits. I'm gonna die. If I don't show up tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog, you guys, because I trusted Sam. 
Literally, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Sometimes Sam and I come out here just ourselves. I love it though, like I, I love the feeling of fall. See how everything's starting to turn brown, finally? I love it. But look, it doesn't even look like we have a lot of dogs when we're out here. Where's Ellie? Ellie. Ellie. She looks too peaceful. Ellie! Great, now we gotta go back and get her and there's gonna be the chickens. We're gonna have to go get her. We knew it was too peaceful. Oh. See, I had a, such a good plan and then it only takes one person not to pay attention to the plan for the plan to fall apart. Kirby came too because she's missing her best friend. Why do I feel like she's in there? Oh my gosh. You are dumb. You're the dumbest dog. Are you on the other side of the fence? What the heck? Oh, Ellie, this way, come on. Now let's go walk another five miles. There we go. All is right is the world. All is right. They waited for me. How nice are they? Anyway, I'm super visual and it just makes me happy. Come here, guys! To what, it makes me happy to watch all of our dogs just running. Kirby, Molly, Ruby, Ellie, come on! And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked that Daisy came. Well, the three that listen. The three dogs that listen. It's good for everybody to go for a walk. It's one of the free things in the world that is healthy for you and fun. Wait, you're taking the shortcut? Yeah, We're all going. <laughs> it was already way too long, you guys. Way too long. Molly. Look, Molly pays attention. Come on! Come on! Come on! Watch, we all get ticks now. Come on! <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not going. So Sam found a shortcut. I swear, I'm nervous of ticks. I don't know. Ticks or poison ivy? Pick your poison. Um, yep, that's poison ivy. The red one. There it is, you guys. My dream trail. I could walk this thing a hundred times a day. Just joking. <laughs> I wish we could bring the goats down this path. Like I dream about it all the time. I'd love to just like bring them down here. And I think we could get them back. It's just that it's outside of the fence line. We brought Lola down here, but did she have a leash? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to bring them down here. They would like eat all this. Did you guys know that goats can eat poison ivy and not have any problems with it? Yeah, that is cool. There's literally so much grass down here. I know, what the heck, man? I don't understand it. They're standing up at the round bale eating hay. I could eat this stuff. I know. That was a wild walk. I feel so good though to get out and exercise. Don't go that way. <laughs> Come this way. The horses are over there. What are you doing in there? Also, if you missed yesterday's vlog, you may not know that our buck broke out because two of our does are in heat. Well, today, two more of our does are in heat. This one and that one, the ones that are okay to get bred. And Sam fixed it. Sam fixed it. We have been doing so much better keeping the bucks separate and not being able to get out. And I think we finally got it. We finally got it, you guys. That's your least favorite thing. No, that's, yeah, that's your least Ellie, come on, I don't like the way that the whole, that he's looking at you. Come on. Come on. No, Storm loves mine. I know, Storm's good. I brought carrots for them today and forgot my plate. Stop chewing the wood! They're bonding. You have lots of food, go out there and find it. Fix that wood. What? Fix that. Oh, well they love what you did with the wood. They're, they're eating it now. I know. Well, they're about to break this one, too. 
Miracle number three, we outsmarted the chickens. Definitely like a petting zoo. I swear, every time I come out. I want chicken strips. <laughs> wow, that one was having a dust bath. Wow, I'm cold. It's freezing. I'm cold, I'm freezing. The boy's friendly too. Hi. <laughs> Isn't it weird how he's all these like They're, weird. It's like weird bumps. What's he doing? Why are you choking him? I'm not. Well, he was fine until you picked him up. Well, I scared him. He doesn't have any on. Uh, I know. Have you ever felt a turkey's neck? Like, think about how you eat like a turkey's neck. It's okay. We're not eating this turkey's neck, though. Put him down and he's fine. I think that was like a scare tactic. Let me gag to scare you and make you put me down. But look at how much clearer the camera is at nighttime when there's no sun. You know, I could be outside and doing stuff with the animals all day long and never be exhausted. But I sit on the, my computer for a whole day almost and work my butt off and I'm exhausted. I'm like mentally exhausted from trying to figure stuff out. I actually was worried about Posey today. Is she at the horse barn? Yeah. Anytime I don't see her like a lot during the day when I'm out here, she usually like runs around and I can see her. But anytime I don't see her a lot, I feel so nervous. Come on, Pose. Come on, honey. Don't call her that way. You gotta go the other way. I never worry about this boy. So my next job, my next big job is to, wow, look at those two first. Look at those teeth. My next big job is to do the pig's feet. I got like, um, what are those things that twirl around? It's like sandpaper and you can, you can do that. I got that. I don't feel like it's going to work because they're kind of old now. Yeah, you're cute. I love you. I do. His family said he was fat. <laughs> but he's not. Come on, love. See, I don't know. She seems off. Come on. I was up there twice today. Didn't see her. Actually, I was up there four times today. Didn't see her. If those eggs are starting to hatch, these ones should too. Yeah, so we're about to have like... So let's check her. All right, let's check her. Well, I have to go in there after. All right, go ahead. Hopefully Posey comes down. It's possible that this little chicken could have some babies underneath her. And if she doesn't have babies under her, she could be having them soon. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Don't peck me now. Don't peck. We just want to see what you got. They're all green. Oh, and there's a brown one. And they're blue and green. Let's see. Do you have your thing? We can candle them? Because that doesn't seem that heavy. They're pretty clean though. Let's candle them. Let's candle one. Uh-oh. It's looking pretty full. Yep, it looks like. Let's wait, let's see. See? Not ready yet, though. Yeah. Not even close. Maybe another week. Will you okay. tuck it? Will you tuck it under you? Yeah, that's so cute. And she tucks them under her. Hopefully that's Posey. Uh-oh. Okay, well, you're not doing a good job there, ma'am. She's a good little mama. This is her little cup of food. Yeah, oh, she ate it all. All right, we'll bring it up and we'll bring it back down full of food. Oh, she's like, what did you, oh, there's more food underneath there. So you guys probably know that when chickens are laying on a nest, they won't even leave to eat. It's crazy. I'm worried about Posey. She's never late for dinner. You can call her anything, never late for dinner. She's just, she's just doing things different than she usually does. Ah, that's how everybody's getting up. We don't care if the goats and the pig go up. Come on, Posey! Go out of this area. But that's what happened. It was probably the pig that ripped this all off. I'm gonna have to go get her. Wait, I think I hear her. Hi, everybody. Hi, babe. You look like you got some mud. Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong? Are you sick? What's wrong? Hey, baby. Come on, I can't carry you. You're gonna have to come. Are you following me? Hi, baby. <laughs> Are you ready for dinner? I oh, know, she's not in heat anymore. She's looking much better, happier. Hi. <laughs> They're like, it's not hot now, let's do something. I used to always be an alarmist. Like, anytime something was different, I'd freak out first and then find out 
if everything was okay later. So I try not to be that way now and it makes life so much better. But with animals, the only way you can tell sometimes is by when they do, is by when they start acting different. And she never doesn't come for dinner. She's usually like the very first one at the gate, barging in. What? If we wake up tomorrow and there's babies, I'll be right. Sophie thinks she's about to give birth, but that would mean that she'd have to have been pregnant four months ago and we didn't even have a boy pig. And she's never been alone with the pig. I know. I'm gonna look up some things, talk to my sister, just to make sure she's okay. It's so funny. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. I love our little welcoming committee. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 